right, so we're going to do something a little bit different today. I, when I, when I first heard about The Leftovers, I hadn't watched it, and I remember Damon Lindelof saying, this is not a show you can binge watch. I can't imagine anyone being emotionally stable enough to binge watch this show. I binged watched two seasons of it, and I called into work sick that night because I was just so fucking depressed. I can't imagine if any of if any of you actually binge watched this last season of BoJack. I salute you. I'm not binge watching it, but I am gonna watch two back to back. And I legitimately never drink. I do sake every now and then. I do wine every now and then. I've had this bottle of scotch for like two years now. <laughs> I got this as a gift from one of my regulars at the bar. And I just, I never drink. I used to always say that I started drinking scotch just to feel like a grown-up. Like, mm, yes, a mm, few cubes, mm, my 401k, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to do an hour of BoJack today because I want to have a buffer from here on out. So I want to have another week because I want to get, you know, week ahead for Patreon rewards and shit like that. But just because we're getting to that point now, especially since BoJack starts to start drinking again, I feel like it's all downhill from here. And normally I drink coffee and I get all happy and peppy. I feel like these last, what, four episodes? I feel like these last four episodes are just going to be just... Oh, no, is it... How many episodes do I have left? I don't even know how many episodes I have left. I'm so not ready. And I feel like I'm going to need something to numb... Seven Deadly Sins! Meliotis is the... I'm a, I'm a deadly sin, yeah. <laughs> I, watched one, I watched one season of it. I liked it, but I'm not watching another season. Horny Unicorn? Three episodes left. Fuck. The fact that it says nice while it lasted is really, really making me legitimately uneasy. I don't like the way that sounds at all. I'm not looking at the synopsis for it. Ugh, fuck, I might end up watching all three of these episodes today. I really don't want to because I know I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to cry. It's one thing to be watching a TV show and all of a sudden I'm crying on camera and I'm like, ah, whatever, it's a, it's a genuine reaction. It's another to know ahead of time that I'm going to end up fucking crying. This is the most, like, I, there, there's been a couple times where Mr. Robot, where I was just, I, I had that in my, in my stomach. I, I, I knew that, like, bad shit was coming. I think there was an episode of uh, La Casa de Papel that I felt something bad coming. But I feel like legitimately these three episodes are the most nervous I've been getting ready to watch a show than I can remember. All right. Let's do it. Sabrina the Teenage so Fish. <laughs> sister, 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 sister. <laughs> never knew how much I missed you. Now everybody knows I ain't never gonna let you go. Sister, sister. I'm sorry, okay? He's a smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. We don't need to bring Eisner into this, obviously. <laughs> Oh, this is when these paintings in the background are freaking me out. Oh, how are you guys doing? How's your day going? 
Mine's about to be going real fucking shitty. I don't want this. I love that house episode. Fucking fly wanted to kill himself. That shit was so fucking brutal. So wait, is this gonna be a flashback episode? We already saw him stay on the show after they fired her. No, horny unicorn. Never mind. Mr. Horseman? Oh, this looks. Thank you. Was that a horny unicorn? Oh. I'm aware. To shoot a scene this is like embarrassing. Penis stuck in a saxophone because he was hoping to get blown. I know the scene. Thank you. Oh, this is just fucking. Why would you sign on to this? Oh, he's not drinking. He's drinking water. I saw your interview several months back. It made me nostalgic. Me too. Nostalgic for the day before I did the interview. <laughs> <laughs> if you're free tonight, you could come by the house, watch the fire, reminisce. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? Would you love to find out? Yes. Uh, Very mysterious, but... So the Stephen King musical opened right next door to the Sondheim revival. We have clients in both, and I was worried they'd be tension, but it turns out misery loves company. Judah, are you in a band? Well, why do you ask that? I guess I've always wondered if you were in a band, ever since this afternoon when I overheard Juniper tell Stuart that you were in a band. I didn't want you to feel obligated. We're not good. You know, Teddy Barton, my head of production... We're not good. I somehow missed that Teddy has spent the last 20 years <laughs> I love you. You're discreet. You're tough. You're Teflon. That's me, an old frying pan. I could use someone who can handle the heat over here. Someone who could be more professional and less moon <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, she wants you to be the fucking guy. I'll get my laptop. Oh, wait. Your gig. I have tonight. This is important. When a man loves a... What? That's another fun fact, as we were discussing previously. Of mm. course. Please let them get together. Please, please, I know that yeah, and that's kind of what Bojack did to her, but I don't care. I think, I feel like Jude is smart enough to, fuck, I don't want to say smart enough. I can't see you right now, but I'm guessing by your tone, no. Then why is my ex-wife treating me like I'm some kind of asshole? I wouldn't she, ask you to do that. I wouldn't ask you to ask. If somebody's going to Houston, then we're going. And that's why she's ashamed. A mother shouldn't owe her child her life. If she could turn it around somehow, save your life? But if you weren't, but you are. Clearly there is no... It's going to get hit by a car or something? I'm super confused. When did he give her the kidney? I don't remember that. Is that vodka or is that water? Melanie, good luck with your braces. I think they look cool. <laughs> it's just two. Uh, why are you here? Oh, oh thank God. Uh... Okay, thank God. I thought he was gonna show up anyway. Diane, you wrote a memoir? Oh yeah. I had the idea a few months ago. Then one weekend it just fell out of me. What? From the way people talk about <laughs> writing, I always assumed it was very difficult. <laughs> 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 Even though it's really easy to write a book, it's still an accomplishment to be proud of. His girlfriend looks nice. He seems healthy. What, what's his job? Well, I think he runs a daycare, but he talks about the babies as if they're his co <laughs> <laughs> I should have been there. Yes, you should have. Oh. Character actress Margo Martindale! He must have comforts me and fills me with dread. It's a Hyperion Street bridge in one hour. That was perfect. Thank you, Margo. It's the least I can do. Getting you to buy that addictive video game was the act that set me <laughs> <laughs> Every time I make pasta, studio went all up. I think of her saying, uh, the oil. After your interview, you couldn't give these things away. 
oil doesn't help the pasta from boiling over. That's an old wives' tale. What's this evil bitch doing? I don't like it. I've completed a projection for female led films over five years. It's incredible. Oh, she's getting it's cold feet. Until I get the specifics of your dreams later. I don't know what that is. I don't remember my dreams. Please let good things happen. Please just give me that for any for everybody. I don't care about anybody else. Just please let PC have a good ending. Just the kids, but they need his permission. It's about three precocious orphans living without any adult supervision. You need me for it. You're back end. Yeah. Nobody's going to watch the show if they think you're still talking. Do it for Sarah Lynn. Doesn't she deserve more than to be remembered as the girl you killed? <sighs> Fuck. Have you seen the episode without me in it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it no good? If you sign that document, you won't need to worry about that. He needs the money. Oh, good. Let's drink. I'm fine with my water, Fix. You're not fooling anyone with that water bottle. Let me fix you a real drink. One. <laughs> Look at how cool he looks. Is everyone from your office here? Not everyone. Judah, obviously I was speaking figuratively. <laughs> he really wants her there. Judah. Really? I don't... Please? Hi, we are in Spectrum of Enchantment. Our lead singer had to go back to work, so we'll be playing all of the instrumental versions of our song. Back, take this, circle, extract, extract, wiggle your hands, and do uh oh Whoever says, pull up your pants, but that's how you do the bow I can't tell if she's actually having fun or if she's just... Humoring him to make him hurry up and leave at some point. All heard was gay, and I had to convince you to let us fire him. But uh, you, you probably don't even remember. Bluff. All this time, I thought there was nothing I could have done. I guess I bluffed good. Ugh. I'm not taking your stupid. Deal. You already signed. No, you signed. Is he gonna kill her? Stop, you idiot. <laughs> no, why should I give you what you want? She says she. She already says she can't Great fall. Job. I don't, I don't like this. I hear you. Because we did what we had to do. So, what do you have to do now? Give me that folder. That's right. Now, another drink? <sighs> I don't, I don't. I'm okay, but I'm like, oh my god, is he gonna fucking kill her right now? Don't hurt him. Boy dies if you don't got the pie. We have the pie. Go, go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, we should have got them. Stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's okay. It's not real. I'm fine. It's a classic talk shenanigan. That's Margot Martindale, the actress. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I was too. <laughs> Stay there. What are you doing? I'm taking your car. What? You're not using it. Someone should get some pleasure out of something in this sad, stupid world. Consider it a signing bonus. Uh, and I'm taking these. But the lazy Susans turned out to be. <laughs> I mean, she does do that kind of stuff.
Do not get back with him. I'm getting that fucking, I'm getting that uneasy feeling. Oh my god, Bojack's gonna crash into them. I swear to fucking god, Bojack, do not fucking crash into these two right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please no. Please, 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 please no. Princess Carolyn died on the way to see Judah. Oh my god, please no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Todd's good. Fuck, I'm getting really... I don't like this at all. Okay, so Todd gets a happy ending at least. And so you see, the cycle <laughs> had become complete. All the twists and turns, they'd all been part of a beautiful tapestry. A grander mission to bring this boy and his mother together again. That's quite a story. But you killed a lot of people. I'll go Martindale. You're going to prison. I'm trying to like not think about PC getting hit by Bojack, but I know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen, and I'm fucking like my heart. If I had a heart rate monitor on me right now, you would see that my heart rate is like 150 or some shit. Okay, you're free to go. My shit is fucking thumping right now. Oh, thank God. Oh, he doesn't live there anymore, though. He's gonna get into the car, and he's gonna fucking—I swear to God! Come on, Beast! Come on, PC! Get home, get to wherever you were supposed to be going. Oh, thank you, fucking Christ! I know. Would you think I was an idiot if I didn't go work for Turbo Top? I listen. It's never underestimate what Princess Carolyn can do by herself. Well, not all by myself. I ship him. I strive for precision. F My aim is to be accurate and clean. I don't say things I don't know to be true. So believe me when I tell you I love you. Princess Carolyn, I love you. I don't mm -hmm. like <laughs> this is the most Judah song. Where the fuck is the family? How are they not woken up by now? It's all because of Herb. Thank you, fucking Christ. What does this remind me of? It's the most 90s song ever. This sounds like the beginning of Ninja Turtles. 
This sounds exactly like the beginning of Ninja Turtles 1, the movie from 1990. Here, hold on. So I, need to, I need to have something to talk about before starting the next episode anyways. Righteous! That's so funny. That's all I want to hear right now. This is one of my favorite movies of, like, ever. This movie still stands up. This is from 1990. I was... I was six when I saw this. This was little, holy shit. This was thirty fucking years ago. This movie holds the fuck up. I'm what does this remind me of? Damn! Damn. <laughs> I love that movie so much. All right, all right. Oh, I might do that. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. I might do a reaction bonus, even though I've seen it 800 million times. I want to relive that fucking that. Oh. Man, sorry, I needed to, like, get myself happy. I was fucking so nervous for Princess Carolyn. Holy shit. My heart was fucking thumping. I'm still, like, trying to, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, come down from that. That was absolutely fucking horrifying. That's twice this show fucking... I thought he was going to kill uh, Angela on accident. And I feel like they did that on purpose. The fire started. She said that she fell down once. Fucking he was clearly drunk and she was fucking, you know, fragile. The flames were rising extra high. I'm like, oh my God, he's about to kill her. Then when they showed Bojack, Princess Carolyn, and Todd all in cars at the same time... I thought Bojack was going to crash into, like, both of them at the same time. And I was just fucking like, oh, my God. Like, imagine if Bojack kills Todd's mother and Princess Carolyn while drunk. I'm like, Jesus, please do not do this to me. Please do not do this to me. Judah's song. Judah's song. Here, hold on. I strive for perfection. My aim is to be... Accurate and clear I don't say things I don't know to be true <laughs> so, so believe me when I tell you that I love you I don't write good love songs I'm not adept with metaphors or rhymes. I just want to describe things that I know. And the only thing I know is that I love you. Please believe me when I tell you. I love you, Princess Carolyn. Dude, that was fucking... That is the most Judas song. That is the most Judas song I've ever fucking heard. Fuck, I was so fucking nervous for Princess Carolyn. If Princess Carolyn gets her dream job and Judah and Rosie, then as sad as I'll be for Bojack, whatever whatever's coming Bojack's way, because there's no way he's getting a happy ending. I actually... I just started Better Call Saul. I haven't put them up yet because they're going to be for later on. I'm trying to start getting this. Like I said, I'm trying to get buffers and early releases and uncut footage and all this other shit. But I was saying how for as good as Breaking Bad was, the ending was just too soft. Walt deserved a much, much more brutal. Everybody in that show deserved the most brutal ending ever. And I always say that Ozymandias, that that should have been the episode. That should have been the f series finale. And then the, the last two episodes should have been an epilogue like El Camino like a year later. Because, I don't know, Breaking Bad just, the ending wasn't, Breaking Bad needed one of those endings. Like the shield is one of those endings. 
I already know. I have two episodes left, but I already know Bojack is getting one of those endings. So I'm like, yo, him killing Princess Carolyn while in a drunken fucking rage after just signing over his fucking life. Like, that makes... I, I'm happy he did that because uh, Sarah Lynn does deserve to be more than just the girl Bojack killed, so... And to go back what I was saying earlier when I was like, oh, Jude is smarter than Princess Carolyn. What I meant by that was Princess Carolyn was young and stupid. She said it herself. And Bojack used his, his ability to kind of get in there. She's in no way doing that. Judah is doing this whole love thing completely on his own volition. So when I said that Princess Carolyn was stupid when she fell for Bojack and Judah wouldn't do that because he's smarter, that's what I meant by that. Just because I feel like that might get me into some hot water if I don't specify. All right. Bojack has taught me to be very specific about my words. <laughs> Got to see J.K. Simmons again. Anytime J.K. Simmons is in anything, I'm happy. Got to see character actress Margot Martindale. I am so happy we got to see character actress Margot Martindale one last time. Todd and his mom. I think we're good. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like that's it. These last two episodes are just going to be Bojack. I wasn't sure how that princess, I mean, how that Diane... Uh, Mr. Peanut Butter conversation was gonna go. I was like, nah, they're getting too familiar. I don't, I don't want them to. I don't, I don't want him to ruin that for her. But if she moves to Houston to be with Guy and Sonny, writing Ivy Tran, Mall Court Detective, Food Court Detective. Sorry, I keep fucking that up. I feel like if that's the end of her, then good. She got a happy ending. She got out of that shit. Princess Carolyn has Ruthie. I swear to fucking God, nothing better happened to her. I swear to fucking God, if anything happens to Princess Carolyn in these next two episodes, I don't know. <sighs> please let Princess Carolyn have a happy ending. For the love of all that is good and holy in this world and the next, please let Princess Carolyn have a happy ending. All right. I think that's it. I think, all right, so I'm going to watch the next episode now. I feel like I might watch all three of these episodes today. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> that last episode really had me fucking nervous. But we're going to give it a shot. So I'll see you next week slash whenever you're watching this. All right. Ooh.